Okay, <clears throat> all right, so uh, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We've got um, uh, problem one, example one here, and I'm just gonna quickly run you through um, how to do this type of problem. So first it says verbally describe Mr. McSparren's motion. It says tell me more, tell me about where he started. So I'm gonna underline that, that's something I know I need. Uh, what direction he's going, and then also it wants to me, me to tell about speeding up or slowing down. All right, so that's one, two, uh, three different things I'm going to have to write about. So first off, where he started. So we know that um, like this is time, right? So zero time is right there. Let's make this a little bigger. All right, there we go. Now zero time is right there, um, which means that the the starting point is here. So if I think about like what distance, remember distance is over here. Like what distance or what location did I start at? Um, as long as I say something about it not being at zero, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So I would say something like ahead of zero. So let's write that in here. Um, ahead of zero. All right, and then it wants to know, all right, so that's, that one's done. Now it wants to know what direction. Well, um, if I started up top, then I'm going down. So direction is going to be, I'm going to say something like going toward zero. All right. So you could say negative, down, but I mean, there's a lot of different things you could say here, but toward zero works just fine. And then it wants to know speeding up or slowing down. Now, um, a lot, lot, lot of you guys, um, you want to tell me that he's slowing down because it's going downhill. And that is wrong, okay? Um, what we really have to look at here, all right, for these two, we need to look. Ooh, let's, that doesn't look good. Look at, oh, how about that? You can't see that. Look at the slope. Okay, so we have to look at how the slope is changing. So let's zoom in here. I didn't mean to draw that. Let's zoom in. There we go. All right, so what we have to look at, and remember, I love doing this. Let's draw the little man. I got one little man. And then I got another one. And turn them set them there all right so I've got two little men now think about which one is having a harder time standing up well this one right here okay that's a lot steeper okay steeper means faster all right this guy here that's a lot flatter flatter means slower so if it's fast in this part and then slow in this part, that means it's slowing down. Slowing down. There we go. Catch up. There we go. All right, so there's part one. Now, uh, velocity versus time graph. This part, guys, is going to be a lot easier, okay? So, um, First thing, now this, this wants me to put units in, so I'm just going to write in meters per second and seconds for units. Um, now, uh, it wants me to draw this graph. Now, there's two things I need to look at, all right? I need to know, is it positive or negative? And then I also need to know increasing or decreasing. We could also think of decreasing as slowing down. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let's kind of start with a different color here. All right, I'm going to look at this thing and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hopefully you guys have all that. I'm gonna clear this thing off so I can see this again, okay? So I wanna know positive or negative. Now I see that it's going down towards zero, so that means it is a negative slope. All right, so positive or negative, the answer is negative. All right, anytime it's going down, it's negative. So, I mean, it could look like that and it'd be negative. It could look like 
that and it'd be negative. It could look like that and it'd be negative. All of those are negative. All right, now the other thing I want to know is increasing or decreasing. So again, we think about the little man, okay? So is it getting steeper or less steep? Well, this starts off steep and it gets less steep. So that means to me, I'm seeing decreasing or we could also say slowing down. Maybe slowing down is a better way to say that, okay? Decreasing means slowing down. So when I go to draw that, all right, well, this part here, negative, means below the line. All right, so that means I'm going to have to draw it down here below the line. Okay? Um, now, the other thing is slowing down. So remember this, okay? Remember that, let's do it like this, okay? What means fast? Um, does green, orange means fast? Okay, so this section here, oops, that's actually slow. All right, so that section there, because it's close to zero, that section is slow, okay? Now, these sections out here that are far away from zero, remember zero is right in the middle, those sections, are fast. All right, so if I'm slowing down, I need to start fast and end up slow. So I start down here. Come on, show up. And then I'm going to go until I get slow. Okay, so fast to slow means getting closer to zero. So ultimately, I know there's a lot of extra stuff on there. But you guys are going to want something that looks about like that. All right? Now, finally, on this bottom part, I need to draw a motion diagram. All right? So I draw my line. Um, now, I need to put dots on. Now, it's going towards zero. So it's going to start here, and then it's going to go this way. And then I'm slowing down, so gradually my arrows are going to start getting shorter and my dots are gonna start getting closer together. So I'm gonna have something like that. Now the last thing that it wants, it wants to know the direction of the force. Well, to slow something down, the force has to push against it. So my force, all right, my force is pushing back that direction, okay? If it had been speeding up, my force would go the other way. It would go with the arrows. But to slow down, it's got to push against it. All right, guys. Now you try the next one on your own.